Completing the square is extremely important. And so I've added three more examples here for you to practice. So what I would suggest is you pause the video right now and well, first let me finish my sentence. <laughs> um, and then try each of the, cause, cause I've given you the answers. So you can try each of the questions and only if you struggle with any of them and you you can't get to the final answer then obviously you can play the video and see where you might have gone wrong but the best thing is is if you don't go wrong at all and you get the answers without having to listen to me at all because then that shows that you understand your work okay so good luck and enjoy practicing those questions so i'm going to start with number one so with number one what we want to do is we want to realize that this equation that they've given us has a 2 in front of the x squared and the y squared and that can't happen right so what, what I'm going to do is just write out this equation over here I'm then going to divide everything by 2 so that's x squared plus y squared plus 3y equals to 4 now we can complete the square oh but first we would like to oh no everything is in the correct place so notice that with this part here there is no x next to it it's not like some of the other questions where we had something like that so that part is already complete we just have to do this part over here. So it's going to be x squared plus y squared plus 3y plus. Then we always plus whatever this number is over 2 and then we square it. Then we write down the 4 that was already there. And any numbers that we have added on this side must also be added on that side. So that will be 3 over 2 squared. And so that's going to give us x squared for that part. And then this part is going to become a um, a bracket with that and that. So it's going to be y plus 3 over 2. This is The reason I use plus is because this is a positive number. And then that's going to be squared. Then this part you just put on your calculator. And that's going to give you 25 over 4. And there we have it. We are complete. That is how you do completing the square to find the equation of that circle. Number two, so this one we don't have to divide by two, so we're just gonna have minus three x plus y squared minus six y equals to nine. So we're gonna do the x's together and we're gonna do the y's together. So for the x's, you just write down x squared minus three x, then you're gonna say plus, open up a bracket, and take this number over two, like that. Then we're going to do the y's plus y squared minus 6y plus bracket square. And it's going to be this number over 2. Then on the other side, we're going to say 9 plus these two over here. So it's going to be minus 3 over 2 squared. And I always battle to fit this last piece in. Minus 6 over 2 squared. Then in the next step, we're going to form these two brackets like that, where I'm going to take x and I'm going to take this number here, so that's x minus 3 over 2, and then for the y part I'm going to take this number and this number. Now 6 over 2, that's just 3, so I can simplify it like that, and then you're going to put all of this on the right hand side on the calculator, and that's going to give you 81 over 4, and there we have the circle equation. And moving on to the last one, number 3, we have x squared plus 2x equals to minus y squared plus 6y plus 4, like that. So this doesn't really look like a circle equation just yet. We're going to move all the x's and the y's to the same side, and then we'll leave the 4 like that. Then we'll complete the square with this part. We'll also complete the square with this part over here. So for the x squared part, it's just going to be x squared plus 2x plus bracket. You take this number and you divide it by 2 squared. Then for the y squared part, you say plus y squared minus 6y plus bracket. This number over 2 and then squared. Then on the other side, it's just going to be equals to 4. And then we're going to add these two sides. So it's going to be plus 2 over 2 squared plus minus 6 over 2 squared. Now going into the last step, we're going to form our brackets. See how it becomes very repetitive. I hope by now you guys are getting this. So we're going to take this one, and we're going to take that one. Now 2 over 2 is just 1. Then we're going to take this one, and we're going to take that, which is minus 3. And then this we're just going to put on the calculator, and that's just going to give us 14. And there we have it. So well done if you managed to get all of these correct. And if you did struggle, then practice them again. Go back and watch some of the videos on completing the square. You will get it eventually.